this is the tutorial for the actual dynamo shuffle now when i was learning this there were tutorials which showed the four packet version of it but the actual one is actually five packet version so uh this is how you're going to do it at first you're going to hold the deck of cards just like that with the thumb here index finger here and the rest of the three fingers here and then what you're going to do is you are going to come over here with your other hand keeping your index finger here and the thumb on the back side then you lift a small amount of cards with your index finger keep the other hand's index finger that is the hand which is holding the deck of cards keep that index finger right here and then lift your thumb by lifting while lifting another small pack of cards now what you're going to do is you're going to strip this top packet into two packets and you're going to do that by using this middle finger so you come over here with this middle finger and then you strip it into two packets just like that so that is the first thing that need that that is the first step that you need to do in order to do the dynamo shuffle so since you're stripping the top packet you need to make the top packet a little bit thicker before uh, or while you are lifting it for the first time so i'm going to lift a huge amount of cards for the top packet so it's kind of thick and right now i'm going to lift another small amount of pack a small amount of cards on the center packet now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my middle finger to strip the cards just like that then what i'm going to do is i'm going to twist this hand downwards and as i twist this hand downwards you can see there's a lot of gap between this cards and this cards to grab this cards that i just twisted downwards so this packet i'm going to twist it downwards just like that and as i twist it downwards i get the freedom of holding this packet that is this one uh, i get the freedom of holding that packet with my thumb and my middle finger just like that i go and grab this packet just like that with my thumb and my middle finger now i let go this middle finger and what i do is i actually move these two packets the, this packet and this packet i move these two packets outwards just like that so i strip that packet out from the center of these two packets right now so at this point i come back just like that now as i come back just like that i also push my index finger to the side so as I push my index finger to the side while I come back, what happens is there's a lot of gap right over here. And I'm going to use, use that space to take this packet out again and bring it back to its original position. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to use one, two, three, these three fingers, the middle finger, the ring finger and the pinky to go over here and grab these cards that I'm actually holding with my thumb and my middle finger. So I'm going to go and grab these cards from these three sides uh, with the middle finger right here the in, uh, ring finger right here and the pinky right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull these cards out and as I do that I again move my hands forward okay and as I move my hands forward you can see what is happening this card is actually coming out from that loop and again coming back to its original position so this is the packet which was stripped from this top packet so afterwards after you come into this position now this is what you are going to do so you are holding this cards just like that now you're coming over here and again you're twisting this hand just like that as you did in the first time and at this point you are again stripping the top packet by getting into that grip so you're twisting the hand and you come over here now you're stripping the top packet you're not taking the full top packet you're stripping it you're stripping few cards of a uh, few cards from that top packet and you're bringing it out just like the first time as you did now you are in this position that is the actual dynamo shuffle display so as you come to this position what you're going to do is you are going to close this shuffle and make sure that since the dynamo shuffle is also a civil cut and it's also a false shuffle uh, you need to make this a false shuffle so what you do is you close the shuffle just like that you come over here and you keep all the cards together but you keep these cards sticking outside because this is the card uh, these are the cards that were stripped from the bottom of the top pa uh, top packet so what you're going to do is after you close all that these cards are stripping out and you're having the top packet like that you're coming over here using your middle finger to swing it out and then using your index finger to flip it over and then you're going to just turn this just like that 
and then with the top packet you're going to just twist it and drop it on the top so in all together in slow motion this is what you're going to do you're going to do a z formation strip the top packet take that packet bring it outside take it back again then again what you're going to do is you're twisting your hands taking that packet taking a small amount of cards from the top packet uh, bringing it again this side and then what you're going to do is you're just closing these packets you're just putting this packet in the center closing it this packet sticks out twist it out just like that turn it over drop it like that flip it flip the top packet and drop it like that so that's how this shuffle is done and that's it for the tutorial now there are two ways you can do it at first that is you can use this use this shuffle to show off that is of course the cards are not shuffling you are just doing a flourish but the spectators are going to think as uh, think it as a shuffle and you can use it as a false shuffle so that's how you can use it that's the first one and the second one is you can use it to take a cool photo just like my thumbnail so for that what you're going to do is you're going to turn this deck over and then you're going to do the dynamo shuffle okay you're going to come over here and then you're going to do a display just like that and as you do a display just like that what happens is if you get a photo from the correct angle it looks very beautiful and you can then post it on any social media like instagram and if you do post it on instagram make sure you tag me at shoel azari so that i can see how good your photo is and that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching peace